Today I'm going to show you the website's diagnostic console, which gives you an easy way to access files in an Azure website as well as run commands. So here I have a bakery website that I have deployed for this demo. And the way to access the diagnostic console is uh, there is no direct link from the portal, but there is a simple thing you can do on the URL. First, I'm going to change from HTTP to HTTPS and I'm going to add an SCM segment here. And now it's asking me to log in and the credentials I'm going to use are identical to my FTP credentials. With one difference is that I'm not saying site name slash username is just username here, unlike FTP. If I go here, I reach this page that has a number of links. One of them is Diagnostic Console. So I'm going to click on that. And this gives me a view of my files. Uh, at the top, I have something that looks like a file manager. At the bottom, I have a console window. So let's say I want to see the file that I deployed. I can go to root and I can see all the files that are there. And notice that while I navigate at the top, the bottom is synced up with the same folder and I can actually type a variety of commands here, uh, which apply to the current folder. Now let's say I'd like to upload some new files to my site. So what I can do is I have a little folder locally prepared and I want to upload this file for that HTM. I can just drag and drop it and it shows up here. And if I want to uh, deploy an entire folder, it's the same process. I just drag and drop and it shows up here. I can go in here, see all the files. Uh, the reverse operation, if I wanted to download some files, I could just click here to just download one file, which comes up here. If I want to download an entire folder, it's going to come down as a zip file, which if I open, I see everything that was in there. I can also choose to delete files and folders. So I'm going to delete this new folder I had added and it's gone. Uh, the console also gives me a very simple viewer and editor. So if I open the default.html, uh, let's say I'll add uh, whatever, hi again. I save. If I go back here, I can see it's updated. So it's not fancy or anything, but it uh, can be convenient to, to view a file and make very quick edits. So overall, one way to look at this feature is that it, it is sort of an alternative to FTP that adds the ability to run commands and, and do a few more things, but it can be very convenient for a certain type of operations.